Hello and welcome to episode 102 of Madhouse Militia Presents Hotel Exercise in the Nude. We wish to th give thanks to all of the following people for helping make the show go, such as Dwight the Janitor, Wasted Memory for RogueServer.com, which is where we host our show every Friday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific at RogueServer.com forward slash AKSPA, Dragomir for the Corndown at Corndown.com, as well as our patrons, such as Brian N., Mig Chungus, Jayad, Ryan T, Travis B, Gold Rust, Gordo, Parkman, Crispy808, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Farts 666, Jesus Paynus, and Turbo, the High Level Squirrel. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. To find out more about the show, visit immoralhole.com. You can find our show archives at travelswithmiriam.com. That's M-I-R-I-A-M for Miriam. Fun fact, if you listen to the old show, the Travels with Miriam one, you'll hear tones between every call. And those tones spell out on a phone keypad, M-I-R-I-A-M for Miriam. You can find our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Madhouse Militia. You can find our YouTube at Madhouse Militia and our TikTok at Immoral Hole. If you wish to contribute to the show, you can visit immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute, which includes links to Ko-Fi, PayPal, Cash App, and Crypto. I want to thank all the players of tonight's show, including Big Boy Farts 666, Milkman, Dwight, Anonymous, Snappy Bakes, Turbo, and Luxa Paul. Good morning. Hi. Can I come in there and exercise naked? Huh? Yeah, when I get there, can I exercise naked in the room? Is that no. okay? No. Why isn't that okay? I don't know. Why Why you ask me that question? Well, I just want to know if it's okay. No. Okay, where am I supposed to get naked in the room? I don't know. Go find out so, so many hotels down the street. But where... But how? How do I shower if I can't get naked in the room? Dr. Hi, uh, is it okay when I get there if I exercise naked in the room? Say it again? Is it okay if when I'm in the room I exercise naked? Thank you for calling the Two Way Clinic. Are you kidding me? Uh oh. Hello? What? Hello? Why are you being rude? Why are you, why are you <laughs> pressing buttons when I'm trying to talk? I'm not. What? I'm not. Then who's doing it? Is it, do you have, is your hotel haunted? Are there hey, ghosts there? Hey, Dad? Dad? Can, yes, can, yes, can you ask her if, if she'll help take away my kissing virginity? Oh, not this again. Come um, on, I just want to kiss an of age woman. Ma'am, I hate to, I hate to ask this, but no woman would ever kiss my son unless either cajoled or paid to do so, but as sort of a huge favor to a guest in the hotel, could you teach him how to kiss? What room are you in? 215. Oh, you're calling the wrong hotel. You want to talk to the gentleman that's down the road working behind the desk. The gentleman down the road? Yep, that sounds that's sketchy. The I don't know. That sounds kind of sketch, don't you think? The man down the road, like, is he in a van or something? He is a, a front desk attendant at a hotel. Which one? Well, if you were in this hotel, you would know exactly yeah. what I was talking about. No, see, you're trying to send me on a wild goose chase because you're trying to weasel out of kissing my son. I don't want to suck any more dick, Dad. All right. Uh, keep that quiet, okay? Told you. you those, it's well, like you're in the I library. Well, I believe they have a <laughs> down there, too. You, uh, I think it's like 25 cents a pop, so you might be in luck. What do they have? I'm sorry. They got a pop for booth. 25 cents, Dad? I cents a pop. Booth. I want some pop. Son, okay, what she's saying is 
you know, like in um, Charlie Brown, how uh, Lucy, or what the hell was her name, had a kissing booth, five cents? Yeah. Oh, no, wait, that was something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go to the, the place where you pay women. But they always say my penis looks weird. Well, I mean, they would know. I mean, they've seen a lot of them, so you got to go with, you know, what you're told in that. They say I have my mother's penis. I have to go. Classic Mono Lodge, can I help you? Yeah, I got mono the last time I stayed there. Why? What happened? Classic Motor Lodge, can I help you? You didn't even let me explain. Why'd you hang up on me, please? What? Okay, I got mono when I stayed with you last. Well, I don't know how that happened. Because I, I, all I did, like, you guys were cleaning stuff. I licked the door handle and I got mono. If you call here again, uh, the cops will trace your number. So keep calling. No, they're going to they're gonna trace you like a chalk outline, you fatty. Hi, thank you for calling Senate Stay. How can I help you? Hi, I was wondering when I stay with you uh, and I go in the room, is it okay if I exercise naked in the room? Thank you for calling High Place. Hello? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Hi. Yes, uh, I just want to ask a question. Uh, I'd like to come to my room and do my calisthenics video naked. Would that be okay with you? Um, yeah, you do whatever you want in your room. As long as there's no homicides and no, you know, no oh. loudness. Yeah. No, no, no. There's not going to be any homicide. But I have my brothers, and we all like to dance together naked. I got my brother Axel, D. White, and uh, Sanjay. Hey, guys, ask them if it's okay. Tell them. Yeah, no, you guys okay. do what you want in the room, so that there's no... Uh... Do one thing. I... Tell me if we can dance naked. Okay. Ask him. Okay, he's touching himself right now. D. White's touching himself. Turbo, you ask Look him. at this. Look at this. Oh, Sir, that. You want Put your thing. pants back on. Tell We're not even in the room yet. It. Ah, he's a... Hey. Operator, he is he is out in the hall and he pulled his pants down. What do I do? I tried to get him in the room, but he's got his pants down. He's in the hallway doing jumping. Good evening, hotel front desk. This is Cameron. Yeah, Cameron. I I need some help. Would you be able to help me? Um, I'll try to be able to help you. Um, what can I do for you? Okay, my penis is leaking pre cum. What, what, what's the next? What, what's the next step? Sorry, I can't I need, like, help a, you I need a, Oh, I need like a step-by-step guy. I've never done this before. I'm sorry, I cannot help you with that, sir. It's the first time it's done this. It's kind of weird. It's strange to me. Like, cause Who is that? I'm from uh, Oklahoma, and I've never heard of such a thing in Oklahoma, my hometown of Omaha. Who am I speaking with? Well, my penis is leaking pre cum, but my name is uh, Fletcher. How are you doing today? <laughs> it's been quite an interesting night, I can tell you that. It, has it been a long day? Uh, yeah, you can say that. Because I, I just got off a, a six-hour drive, and I just I was like, oh, let me get to my room. Let me try to get to sleep. You know, I take off my pants, take off my socks. And then I'm just in my underwear, and then my penis is leaking pre cum. I want booby milk. And I th- I feel like that's something I should take care of because I've yeah, never done that before. Yeah, you. So like, what do I do? Like, do I, I do I hold yeah. it? Yeah, you probably. Do you like should. squeeze it, kind of thing? Does sure. that make it stop? Or I have no idea. I've never uh, dealt with that before. So uh, do you know? Have, like those IV things, like at hospitals, like yeah, that they stick I, in your arm, like it's just for fluids or whatever. 
Yeah. You know how it like drips? It does that little drip? That's what my penis is doing right now. It's doing a little drip. Like drip, drip. You probably call a doctor drip. or the hospital. This is a hotel. Well, it's it's been a while. I mean. Okay. This is our, our hotel facility. Is there any hotel? But it's, getting, it's getting over the bed and that's going to be a fee. Like what, what's your guys' fee up there? Are you, you guys staying in our up hotel? In, well, up in Oklahoma, we got a fee for those types of things. Okay, I like, don't know anything like, about a fee. You uh, you bring you bring a lady of the night into the room. That's a fee. Fluids. That's a fee. Yeah. Shooting shooting liquid on the bed. That's a fee. Okay. It's not intentional. Then, it's not an intent. It's not an intentional secretion of my white uh, man juice. Okay. Uh, where are you currently staying? Are you currently staying in our hotel? Yeah. So, I, I mean, I have a condom number? in my wallet. Like, if maybe that would stop, like, the mess or what, something. What is your room number? I, I, how do I check that? Your room number? If you're staying in a hotel? Yeah. You should know How do that. I check it? I, I, I don't rem- Well, I don't remember. How do I, how do I find, figure that out? Uh, I just got here. Key card? Where are you currently I look staying? At, uh, the hotel. Yes, but where I, I, I can't I can't just go outside and check right now. My penis is leaking. All right. Well, I'm I'm sorry, sir. I, I I got other things I have to do. Well, can you look online? Can you Google it? Go on Yahoo, <coughs> baby. No, I don't. Peters, like can I touch it? Can and, I touch it? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I don't know what to do. I hope you find out. Well, I don't, I don't know what to do either. about that guy that's talking. He's trying to touch it. I don't know. I don't want to touch it. I don't, I, touch it. I don't know if I feel comfortable with that. Like, I, I feel Please. like this is an issue I could solve by myself. That's why I tried not including him. Oh, I just wanted to milk it a little bit. See, he's trying to milk it. How do we solve that? No idea. That's, but I got to go. Well, okay? I, I need to I stop that, gonna... this pre-cum that's leaking right. out of my giant... Penis. Oh, oh my goodness, it's all over the bed. My 12 inch penis. Sheets. <laughs> I love you, brother. I know you are. Hello? Hello? Hi, yeah, I was wondering, yeah, if I if I get a room over there, is it alright if I exercise naked in the room? Huh. Come for two time, you. Hello. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Hello? Hi, Comfort Suites, how may I help you? Comfort Suites, I'm on my way to check in to my booking and I had a question about am I going to be allowed to exercise in the nude in my room? In your room? Naked? Yeah, naked. You can do whatever you want in your room. Oh, I like your style. Like I can do like jumping acts with my boobies un un unlatched. Whatever you want to do. Would you would would you would you what about the lobby? Not in the lobby. Okay. Would you like to come help me exercise in my room when I get there? Oh, my God. Oh, I got you, too. Can I help you? Hi, yeah. We were wondering if when we get into the room, if it's all right if we exercise uh, naked in the room. We just don't want to sweat through our clothes, you know? Sorry, say that again? Is it okay if we exercise in the room in the nude? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Now, what about the lobby? Um, no. Okay, let me put my wife on, because she really had the question, honestly. It was more her question than mine. Here, honey. Hello. Hi. We're going to be we're gonna be exercising, and we exercise in tandem, where our bodies, our, our unclothed bodies are dancing, a mad, sweaty dance. And we, we need to spot each other. And we need to, like, kind of, like, watch as we, we move and sweat 
together. Okay. Like, but my, my boobies are going to be latched and loose. Same for his male parts and for my... Okay, what are you trying to say? Slap. So can I sure you and that, like, would you be able, oh, would you be able to spot us? What do you mean? By where? You guys are like a third. Like, it makes a power triangle. What? Like, power, a power triangle. Like, you'd be our third for the working out. Are you here right now? Going. We... We're on route. We're en route to the hotel. And when we get there, we're going to take all of our clothes off. Okay. We're going to be... So are you going to be able to be our, our spotter? For, are you going to be able to be our third... Um, you can just, you can just talk to me when you come here. Are you the cute man? Uh, have you seen me before? Are you cute? I mean, I would say so, I guess. Do you have, uh, you sound cute. Do you have a VHS camcorder? No. Well, what about a phone, like an iPhone or a... I have a phone, a cam but okay. A, a, a digital camera. Yeah. Uh, what about a fog machine? Yeah, I have a phone. Um, You can just talk to me when you come here. Could be. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, keep that ass ready. Yep, bye. 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 Waters, Ocean Springs. Oh, hi, hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hey, let me put my brother on. Here, take the phone. Hey, uh, what's going on over there? You got a room for rent? A what? Some rooms. A you room for rent? So I can stay. Well, a what? Like a hotel kind of situation. No, we're, hotel we're not. Well, we're restaurants, kind of sir. Situation? I mean, there are some hotels by oh. I-10, right off the interstate. But we're not a hotel. Oh, I thought y'all was a bed and breakfast situation. No, sir, we're a restaurant, barbecue and blues. Oh, I... I okay. Could, I, could, I could eat some barbecue. Okay, do what you want to order some food? tonight? No, you could go to murkywatersbbq.com, and we've got a full list of our menu. We do everything, brisket, wings, the whole nine yards. Well, um, I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm a vegetarian. What do you got for me? Yeah, I think you're pretty messed up on that one. We don't have anything for you. What do you mean I'm Our messed up? Well, the greens have got meat in it. I mean, everything here is meat. I don't know what to tell you about that. Oh my we God. don't have any. We, I mean, I mean, I can get you a house salad if you want that. But we're a barbecue place. We got um, uh, meat in our baked beans, meat in our collard greens. Um, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, sir. Huh? Oh. I mean, if you want, to, well, I mean, you're a barbecue place. We put meat in everything. Huh? You put meat in the dessert too? No, no, we do have uh, we do have turtle cheesecake. We don't put meat in dessert. Okay, then I'll just come there and I'll eat like eight pieces of cheesecake. There you go. That sounds good. And but if I if I have like a cardiac event while eating all that cheesecake, is uh, there yeah, anybody look, I really, there? I think you're playing with me right now. I think this is turning out to be kind of a joke. Okay, you have a no, good night. Bye. Like super cereal. Okay. Thank you for calling the Palace Casino Resort. This is Katana. How may I help you? Hello? Palace Casino Resort. How may I help you? Yeah, your name's Katana or something? Yes. Uh, so I have a, a gambling problem. I have a gambling addiction. Okay. And then I'm going to come to the casino and hopefully blow a couple grand. That's cool, right? Okay, let me transfer you real quick. 
Wait, 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 wait. I, I just want a katana. Is it cool if I just start smoking in there? I got a Cuban cigar. It's like very, like it's a. No, very we are smoke free. Oh, well, I heard you guys were the only non-smoke free uh, zone. In, Correct. In the state. Yeah, so you guys are non-smoke free. So you're not smoke free. We are smoke free. We are non-smoking. Well, you said you were non-smoke free when I said when I asked. I said uh, no in reference to and you, you smoking, and then we are smoke free. You're concerned about me smoking inside, but you didn't even ask about the fact that I have Cuban cigars, which are illegal now. So I mean, I, I feel like your priorities are somewhere else. Can you transfer me? Or what, what's going on there? Absolutely. No, don't transfer. Actually, don't transfer. Me. Thank you for calling the Palace Casino Resort. This is Katana. How may I help you? Hi, is this Katana? Yes. Hi, my name is Broadsword. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm How are you? Are, are you a ninja? Are you going to take me out in the dark of the night? <laughs> no, <laughs> that is not my occupation. <laughs> have you ever seen the movie Bloodsport where... You know, Van Damme breaks yeah. into this guy's house to steal, steal his katana sword. He's like, you cannot get katana sword by stealing Yes. He's like, I wasn't going to steal it. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's that whole thing. So we were transferred to somebody, and they said they didn't know you, that they never worked with you. Maybe they don't want to work with you. I don't know. It's all over the place. There's a lot of employees here. Uh, I transferred you to security. Yeah. Oh, I was wondering if, like, you guys should have a team-building experience. Like, maybe, you know, not with real swords, like practice swords. Um, you should line up, you know, half of the employees on one side, one half on the other. And then when the whistle blows, you charge each other and just, you know, bludgeon each other with the swords. And it could, could help you get to know your colleagues better. That's something you're open to. Yeah, I, I do team building things. You know, that's my job. And if if swords aren't your thing, how about archery? If you watch, let me tell her about it because she's fucking around. And... That's a pretty edgy first name. Thank you for calling. This is Tina. Is this Katana? No, this is Tina. Oh, my name is Shinto. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing tonight? Do you know Katana? Does do you work with her? Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know her. Oh, because we just talked to her and she transferred us to you. Um, what, what she, can I help you with? Is she a ninja or something? Uh, what? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm I'm wondering if she has studied ninjutsu. Is she a ninja? Because her name is Katana. And I'm afraid that, you know, based on the conversation we had, that, you know, she may come in her ninja costume and take me out. Um, hold on one second. Yeah, that's the hold on. I hung up on you. Thank you. Oh, Garden Ember, Lucky Ricky speaking. How may I help you? Hi, Ricky. I have a problem with my room. Alrighty, what's going on? Well, every every time I walk into my room, like I've been out several times tonight exploring the area, but when I walk into my room, every time I walk into the room, the room pulls down my pants. <laughs> You sure it's the room? Yeah, but as soon as I like, it's not till I get through the threshold though, fully through. Like I've I've, I've been experiencing. So like, if I have one leg out and one leg in, I'm fine. And I go into the, I go all the way in, both feet, and the pants come down. <laughs> it sounds like you have a visitor in there with you. 
No, no, that's the thing. I'm by myself. Are you trying to tell me it's haunted or something? Uh, no, it shouldn't be. <laughs> okay, this is, it's just very disturbing. I've never experienced this. I don't think I paid for this type of service. I, I'm pretty sure I didn't do an upgrade. Tell you what, what's the room number we have so I want to check it out for you? 215. All right, no worries. So we don't have a room on the second floor. And, and, and like 60% 60, 60 of the time it works all the time. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll just don't want to check it out for sure. All right, I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Thank you for calling. Best fortune at Manor. Yeah, what's going on, guy? Not much. I'm. Uh, I had an issue where I'm in the wall. You had a what? Uh, some kind of issue where I'm in the wall, like a face in the in wall. In the wall? Yeah, I'm in it. You're you're in one of our rooms. Yeah, I'm inside the wall. I'm in the drywall. You are. I've, yeah, I've maneuvered, I've somehow maneuvered myself into the wall. Mm -hmm. And what room are you in? What, I'm not, like, I, I'm not the most intelligent person. I'm not sure the specifics, but I've, I've somehow got myself into, into this sticky situation and getting into that wall. Okay, and what do you want me to do? Well, do you have any advice, or has this ever happened before? Is this a normal thing? You guys are a big hotel. It's spring break. You guys, you know, probably have those college students. You, they have a, a couple too many drinks. They get themselves in the wall. In the wall. You are yeah, inside phased, a wall in my building. Yep, I phased into the wall. You phased I'm a part into of the wall, wall right okay. Now. Then, sir, yep. I would seriously suggest I would seriously suggest you stop taking what you're taking because obviously you have well, excused your brain. Should I lower the dosage? If I lower the dosage, I, I should be good. Or I would think so. Yes, sir. Well, because I, I did a gram and about four tabs, so I'm wondering if I should do two gram or yeah, no, a half a gram and two tabs. My friend, I would if, not. If I would not prefer. I would not prefer to speak about drug paraphernalia with you all well, the how time. Well, how do I stop phasing and how do I, how do okay. Your luck, is it okay if I place you in a brief hold? Oh, no, we got a situation no. out here. Outside? Yeah, there's people and they're naked and they said that they, they called up you and you said it was okay for them to exercise naked out here, but I don't think that's right. Oh, God. Did you say you it was okay? Well, no. All right, now everybody, hands up, and ah, one, ah, and ah, two, oh and God. three, and four. Very good, very good. Now we're going to try the flex. Teacher. Oh, now, hold on. Teacher. Right. What, 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 what's your deal? Yeah, what, what you okay. Um. Thank you for calling White House Hotel. This is Susie. How can I help you? Hello? White House Hotel, how can I help you? Hello, Susie. Yes. Hi. Uh, how you doing? Um, I was just having that issue again. Like, how do I fix the issue where it's like I'm in the wall? Like a ghost stuck in the wall? I wouldn't say ghost. Be a bit like you know, a bit supernatural-ish. I mean, it is kind of a a bit of a psychedelic experience. But it's like I'm kind of I'm like in the wall deep. Like, is there like a maybe like a, a foot maneuver I can do? I'm not understanding what you mean by in the wall. Maybe like a passcode, kind of like a like an Alexa command to be like Alexa wall. No, we don't have anything like that at the hotel. Okay, well, how, I mean, how do people normally get themselves out when this happens? We don't usually have people stuck in a wall. Okay, well, you seem a little unwilling to help me, and that's giving I, me a I bit just, of I'm a I'm not sure experience. how to help you. Okay, well, uh, what, what, like, if 
So you don't have any sort of like Alexa system or, oh, you my know, God, it is loud where you are. No, ma'am. It's ma so loud pretty there. Quiet, actually. I splashed water onto the wall. Bayfront Inn, can I have you? Bayfront Inn. Bayfront. Oh. Hello? Inn? Yeah, how you doing? Yes, sir. Yeah, I've been yes, traveling sir. around uh, the, the city, right? Like yes, sir, how can I have you? I'm, 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 from, well, I, I'm from out of town, and I've been noticing that there's been unsolved crimes that I've had to solve in the town. Um, so this is a very front in, so this is a place where well, you need to book a room. Uh, this is not got nothing to do with crime. I know, I'm, I'm, staying in, I'm staying in the hotel. Normally I wouldn't solve the mysteries, but I've been uh, asked by the, the police force. i got to solve the mysteries. I'm sorry, this is not down. a place that I can solve the mysteries No, I'm staying here. I'm staying you need here. a room yeah, or not? No, I'm staying here. I, I, no, I'm staying here. I'm already staying here. Oh, okay. But I'm just saying, so what, I think there's a mystery i got to solve here. What is your name, sir? What room are you in? Uh, Sherlock. What room are you in? <laughs> did, did you travel to another dimension? I can't really hear you very well. I'm not traveling anywhere. I'm here in an office. No, to another dimension, like another dimension. No, sir. Are you? Like, cause the, no, 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 but I was just saying, like, theoretically, there's the ultimate, uh, alter, alternate mirror dimension that you could be in. No. Are you, what are you it, in, sir? Yeah, it's, and it's like an evil doppelganger of you in the alternate dimension. Yeah, I'm in the room. I'm in the room right now. I'm staying here. Okay, what is your room? What is your name? How, how do I figure out that stuff? How do I figure that information out? The room number is right in front of your room. Cause um, right right now I'm shooting lightning from my fingertips. Yes, sir. That's got nothing to do with me. I, that's what I'm asking you. Well, what the room I'm just saying is. that's usually. Yeah, I'm just saying usually you can't shoot lightning from your fingertips. So that I feel like that's. That's not a thing I could do before I came to this town. So is that something to do with the hotel? Like, how do I figure that out? Do I have to go on the website? I have no clue, sir. I'm like not a Zeus. scientist. Well, how no do clue, I get in sir. contact with a scientist? What kind, of, what kind of colleges do they have here so I could talk to a professor here, maybe, or something? Maybe you call 411 information so they give you more information. No, no, not information. I, I, what, what kind of colleges are around I here? I have what no kind of clue, school sir. You guys got? Have well, no you clue. know the this area. Is, you, you, you've been here. You've okay. worked here at least two years. You know the area. I only know this That's part of your job. I'm right now. It's very busy right now. Do you need a room or not? Yeah, no, I have the room. I'm asking okay, questions. You have you're a room the front and desk. You have you're to help. If you're not you helping, I'm going to have to call your boss. Well, I'm not happy with your service. I'm Treasure Bay Casino, this is Luke speaking. How can I help you? Hey, buonasera, come stai? Uh, my name is Vincenzo Baroni. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Hey, I'm a little bit, uh, how you, come si chiama inglese, uh, pissed off because uh, I had a young lady coming to my room and uh, the security guard told her she had to leave. Uh, she was, come si chiama inglese, a prostitute. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm a man. I'm telling a man, I got, I have bisogno de la, de la donne. Capisce? I need the um, women, I need the women, you know? Yeah, I, I got you, sir. So can you do uh, something maybe to uh, uh, compensate me? Come to come inglese, uh, maybe send another, you know, woman with the the larger boobs. Uh, we don't do that here, sir. 
I mean, I'm, hey, you know, I'm a big roller here, you know, I, I lose so much money in this fucking place, uh, you know, but that's why my wife left me, and that's why I gotta, you know, get the girls, I gotta pay them, you see what I'm saying, and, uh, you know, you could do something for me, you go, you know, you go on the internet over there, do your thing, you know, find the girls, whatever, and just send them to my room, and I, you know, I'll slip you over $500, you know. I, I got you, sir, I do apologize, but I'm, I'm, we don't have any services like that here, and I, I don't even work out front to begin with, I work in the back. Hey, do you even have any fucking cognac here? Well, well, I gotta drink this fucking shit they got here. What is this, uh, White Claw? What the fuck is that? Huh? Who I drinks that the, shit? I have no clue. I, I was down there at the table. She's like, hey, would you like something free to drink? She hands me a White Claw. I'm like, hey, I'm a Italian. I only drink a cognac. What the fuck is your problem? Huh? Eh? I got you, sir. I mean, I'm not unreasonable. I'll have an amaretto. You know, it's a little sweet, whatever, you know. So send me something to drink, and we'll call it even. And none of that hipster shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you, sir. Uh, we also discontinued room service. What kind of trashy, dumpy fucking place is this? I'm a high roller. I lose lots of money here. Come on. I got you, sir. Do, do, I, do I have to get my bodyguard to talk to you? No, hey, sir. Hey, I mean, he's not too smart, but, you know, he knows how to take care of business. Well, I'm, you know, you're not helping me at all, okay? And, no, sir. Uh, I, I'm going to take my business elsewhere. I could lose money in any place, but I chose to lose money with you, you know? Yes, sir. Why you just keep saying uh, yes, sir? What, uh, are you a parrot? Uh, what, are you, what are you saying? Yeah. Say something other than yes, sir, so I know I'm not talking to a fucking machine, eh? I got you. You said that already. You know, you young people with the fucking computers, you know when it asks you, hey, you know, click on the fucking picture of the bicycle, or, 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 or pictures of fucking uh, cars, or trees, or fire hydrants, you know? I want to know that you're not a fucking machine, right? That's also possible. Thank you for choosing Centennial Plaza. This is Sam. How may I assist you? Hi, Sam. Hi. Hello? Yes, uh, I've been hearing some kind of low-frequency noise here in my room. And I think they're installing a subway. Are they installing a subway underneath this this hotel? I have no idea, to be honest with you. Um, do you uh, want me to have, like, maintenance come and check it out, or? It's shaking the whole room. I mean, the, the oh picture was vibrating for a second. It's, like, rhythmic. It's, like, pulsing. And I don't oh know what it is. I was trying to sleep, but it shook the bed so hard, me and my boyfriend woke up. And we were like, are they installing a subway? Is there a subway underneath here? I do not know. Um, what room are you staying in? Oh, did you hear it? Did you hear it? It just came again. Listen. Oh, my God. It's like an earthquake. I do hear that. I do hear that. What is? What room are you in? I'm, I'm on the second floor here, and it keeps on coming. It woke us both up. I cannot get any sleep. It shook us. My boyfriend fell out of the bed. Yeah, let me, um, let me, I'm going to try to figure it out for you. What room are you in? Yeah, I'm on the second floor, uh, and the second one down the hallway. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I think it's like 201 or 202. I'm in like the first quarter. 
Are you in the Grand Centennial or are you in the Oasis? Uh, the Grand Centennial. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Oh, my boyfriend is so excited now because this rhythmic pulsing is woke him up. Take it easy, baby. Oh, yeah. Don't like to touch it, yeah. Big boy farts jerking round. It's a rhythmic pulsing sound vibrating through your belly. Make it stand up tall. Purago, purago. Oh. Hey, Dudo. I'm sorry? Did you? Did you find out anything? Yeah, K do though, Purago. We could not figure out what has happened. It must be a subway. Is there a stop near here? Or are they adding a new stop here? To... There it is again. What's oh the my room gosh, number? My water. Yeah, my water was on the stand and it fell over and it spilled on the floor. Oh. This is terrifying. This is Purago. Dudo. K do Mira. ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué es el problema? Honey. Oh. Hey, señor. Oh. Señor. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, señor. Oh. 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 Hey, señor. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. 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 Hi, I, I, I've uh, I've gone and uh, I've made a mess in the room. I, well, first I got one question. Is it okay if that I'm exercising in the nude? Is that all right? Can I don't want to sweat through my clothing because I only brought one 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 set of clothes with me on my trip. Oh no, you need some clothes? Oh no, no, no. I I'm, I just want to know if it's all right if I'm if I exercise naked so I don't sweat through the only pair of you know clothes that my clean clothes. I oh, yes, sir. Let it ride. Let it be free. All right. Okay, good. I just want to make sure I wasn't breaking any laws or anything. Now, what what happens uh, when my wife gets here? Because she wanted to do it in the lobby. Um, We uh, we just called the police. Oh, okay. That sounds that sounds reasonable to me. She she belongs in the back seat of a cop car anyway, you know? Yeah. All right. Good. All right. I'm glad that's that. Um, all right. I'll, uh, I'll let you go. Have a good night. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, bye. Thanks for calling in at Long Beach, Jackie. How can I help you? Hi, Jackie. Hi. Hi. Can I distract you for a quick second? Get your mind off of it? Uh, off of what? Who's this? Well, I... It, it's, it's Dwight. I, um... I had someone come down and hide a picture that I want you to look at. Can you try to find it real quick? It's right there uh, at the no. desk. No, uh-uh, I can't do that. Yeah, I, I, need, I need your opinion to look at it. I hit it, I hit it. Now, is it really Thank you for calling Motel 6 with St. Louis. How can I help you? Hi, how are you tonight, honey? I'm good. Oh, good. I was wondering when I get there. Is it okay if I exercise in the nude in the hotel room? I'm sorry, what are you trying to say? Like if I'm in the room, right, and I want to exercise but I don't want to sweat through my nice clean clothes, is it okay if I, if I just exercise in the, in the nude? You can do anything in your room, sir. Okay, you're not going to spy through the windows and look at me? Uh, we are not doing that kind of thing, sir, here. Okay, you don't have cameras that are, like, watching, you know, the position so they can look inside? No. We have cameras all the way to throughout the property, but not oh. in the rooms, sir. Oh, okay, but on the outside, but can, can, does, does it look inside, like, through the window? No, no. Okay. And, um, does the phone work? Is it supposed to work? Because the one that that's here doesn't work. The phone in the room yeah, is working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it wasn't working, so I I I, uh, I unscrewed the, uh, the 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 thing on the wall. I took I pulled all the wires out, 
and you know there's a lot of wires in there. I, I rewired it, and now I can hear all the phones in the whole hotel. Is that supposed to happen? Uh, I am sorry about that. I don't know, sir. Oh well, I can listen to all the conversations. Like I'm, I'm I can listen to this re this one here. Like I hear myself, and I hear you. And if I if I if I uh, if I press this button over here, what from the you, you don't deliver. Now listen, as long as nobody knows about this, it's going to be okay. I mean, I got this room. Everybody's going to suffer. No one's going to know. And again, as long as long as nobody knows the deal and how much money we're getting for this, it's all going to be good. So you see, I'm I'm still here. Are you still there? Kona Lodge, am I help you? Hi, I've been trying to call people out on the on the room phone, and every time I press like the button, I hear other people's conversations. Here, here, listen. I might have to press it a couple Hello. times. Hello, who is on my line again? See? What do you want? No, I'm trying to dial out. I'm not. I'm not Charlie? trying to call you. Yeah, one more. Charlie, is that you? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, ma'am, can you fix this? I don't want a pizza. No, there's no pizza. I, I'm, I'm just trying no, to No, I need to buy tacos. Oh, deliver can tacos you, to this room right I'm now. I'm going to press this button here and see if it changes or not. Here, hold on. I am on the toilet right now and I want to hear what you are wearing, baby. Oh, you sound so hot. Who's on my line? Operator? Hello? There's some foreign guy talking to me on my line, and I was trying to order tacos. So tell me again Operator? what you are wearing, baby. Hello, is someone else on this line with me? Operator, there's a foreign man on my line. Traveler's Choice, how can I help you? Traveler's Choice, how can I help you? Hello? Hello, traveler's Choice. Me? Hello, yes, traveler's, traveler's Choice. Hello, how are you doing today? Hello? Hello? Traveler's Choice, how can I help you? Traveler's Choice! Huh? He quit. Traveler's Choice, Germany, how may I help you? Medication. <laughs> Are we on the phone? Traveler's Choice, how can I I'm help sorry. you? I'm sorry about my brother's in it. I am going to be a little rowdy. Traveler's Would Choice, how can I help you? Oh, oh, can you hear me? Hello? I wanted to apologize on behalf of... I wanted to apologize on behalf of my brothers and I and see if he'd make sure that everything was okay over there. I'm sorry, ma'am. I can hardly hear you. Would you, you mind repeating that? Slow. Oh! 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 I was just calling you a bullish guy. The call earlier, we're, we're being really loud, but we're trying to communicate that we needed help with the, with the bathroom. Alright, um, ma'am, if you're looking for a room, we do have rooms available for this evening. Our rate is 78. We have smoking and non-smoking rooms available. If you are traveling with any pets, it is a $10 non-refundable fee and a $100 deposit that will be refunded to you in the morning after the room is checked for damage. Would you like to book a room? Um, let me ask my brothers. All right, ma'am. Hold for one moment, please. I'm tiny. <laughs> Days in a slide out. This is Jasmine. How can I help you? Hello, Jasmine? 
Yes. I'm a big fat guy. I'm eating a big old burger in a hotel room. Okay, you're eating a burger um, in a hotel room? No, but I'm a big fat guy. I'm just wondering what's your policy. I'm sorry, say that again? I'm a big fat guy eating a big old burger. <laughs> in, in the hotel you want to know what our policy and you want to know yeah. what our policy is? You can eat in your no. room. No, but I'm a big fat guy. So, um, you like burger grease down out of um, on my on my clothes and on the sheets. Burger grease. I, I don't understand. Usually it would be, I don't understand. Well, usually... Usually it'd be fine, but I'm a big old fat guy. Hold on, I, I, I'm not eating anything right now. Hold on. No, usually it'd be fine, but I'm a big old fat guy, so I can't get, I, 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 the police tell me what. I can't understand you with food in your mouth. Well, I, I have a burger in my mouth, but I'm a big fat guy. I understand, but I don't, okay. That's what Are I'm saying, I, I can't. Or? Well, usually you could eat in the room. If you're not a big fat guy, yeah, you I'm can. a big fat guy, so I'm like all clumsy. <laughs> I'm like it. dropping bur burger grease all over, and it's like spilling on my shirt. Like I got a greasy shirt. Well, if you get uh, grease on the bed or anything like that, then you'll just have to lose your deposit. That's what I'm saying. I'm a big fat guy, so what's that policy? I guess you just lose your like, deposit then if you make a big mess. For example, I'm supposed to have. An extra, 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 extra large, but I have an extra, extra large. So, like, I just have my big old fat belly just hanging out, and that has nothing to do <laughs> okay. with me being fat. That's just, that's just because I'm from Tennessee. So you're fat because you're from Tennessee. Yeah. No, no, no. I my belly's hanging out out because I'm from Tennessee. Okay, well, you go ahead and eat in your room. Uh, I got to clear up the line in case anyone else calls, so you're good. What, 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 so I'm cool. And you yeah, guys are cool. going to charge me. Oh, you're going to get uh, charged if yeah, you I make mean, a mess in there. Well, I'm just, see, you're not give, taking the policy. You're not taking that into account. I'm saying I'm a big fat guy. What, what car do you drive? It doesn't just, matter if you're skinny guy or... What, what, what room number are you in? Drive? Room what number? What car do I drive? My first name's John. Yeah, what, what car do you drive? I don't have a car. It's for work. So someone drives you in? Yeah. Well, yeah, what, what, what shoes are you wearing? If I could ask that. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to get off the phone. What, like what si I mean, what si I'm fat. What size? Like an eight kind of thing. Just for my, just for the hotel policy, my information. I'm not. It's not anything weird. What what shoe size you wearing there? Hello. Hello. From this, how may I help you? From this. Snappy Bakes and Turbo are going to do a dual call. From this, Zick is picking up. Help you. Hello, you didn't give Hi. me and my brother a chance to, to re hello, can you hear us? Uh, hello? Yeah, can... You ain't got to scream at the phone. My brother, I'm so well last time I wasn't screaming and you hung up on me. No, you, I didn't hear no, nothing. No, I'm hurt. Okay, well, that's because I wasn't screaming. Okay, you good, I'm help you. Basically, my brother and I are going to be coming through, and is it okay if we're going to be um, exercising naked in the room? What? What room number are you in? Well, we haven't checked in yet, be wearing but my smile, brother though. and I like... No. Yeah. We'll be wearing no, you smiles. Can't. Why not? Uh, you, got, you say you got a room, In our right? room? You, have, you got a reservation? In, inside the room. 
Excuse well, me, we haven't begun yet. But Excuse me, ma'am. Can can I wear your yeah. smile? What's in, uh, what's the name? Sure. Oh, that's a nice smile. I'll put it on. I'm gonna try it on for size. It's taking my smile. It just feels right. What's your name? Oh, my name is Pam. Your name is Pam? That's my brother, Sa my brother, Sam. Oh, Sam. And the person at the door is the man. Okay, what hotel you booked the reservation on? I got two hotels in my property. Uh, or certainly yours. Hmm? The first one. Ma'am, uh, uh, ma'am. The dirty one. No, you can't do that here. Huh? We can't be naked. She's not going to get the train? Oh, no, she's going to get the train, but not the one she... I will gonna... murder you. That's See you next Quality and underneath. Yeah, may I assist you? Hi, um, I'm in my room, and I'm having a problem with the people in the room next to me. They're, they're telling me what I can and can't do with my, with my sister. Um, what's your room number? 215, and these are the people on 213. 213. Uh, yeah. Let me see. They're telling me I can't, I can't wear my sister's smile. All right, so we do not have a 213, okay? So you called the okay, wrong quality. Where are they from then? That's what that's what they told that's what they told me. I mean, they could be lying. Mm-hmm. And what's your last name? Johnson. With two right, N J O H N S O N N. You called the wrong quality in. I don't have a Johnson in two fifteen. Okay. You you don't have a penis in two fifteen. I think you have one in your mouth. Ooh, you're kinky. <laughs> Please. Thank you for Hello? calling Spring Hill Suites in Gulfport. This is Allison. Oh God. How may I assist you? Oh, God. Thank God you answered. I pressed the wrong button on my phone, and uh, we almost drove into the ditch. Anyway, oh, wow. uh, my family had a question regarding the room because uh, we only brought a single pair, you know, a, a set of clean clothes, and uh, we wanted to know if it would be all right if we exercised uh, nude in the room. Um... As long as the door's closed and the curtains are closed, I don't see why that would be yeah, a problem. Yeah, that was the concern because there's not much light in there and they wanted the, the, you know, the curtains open. Here, you, you talk to them. No. Here, let me put them on the line here with you. Here, here we go. Here, here kids. Hi. What lady? What? Daddy is too drinking a lot of uh, these uh, soda pop things. Thank you for choosing my top six. Hello. Hi. What can I do for you? I'm a, li I'm a little bit intoxicated. All right. And I may have done, but I just need some guidance. Uh, I'm driving. I'm making sure that my route is correct. Would you be able to okay. give me, like, some... Wait, did you just say you're intoxicated, but you're driving? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, so I like I am staying in one of your rooms, and I was having a problem with the toilet. Oh, what's your room number, sir? I'm not sure because I am in the toilet now. I, oh, we need like a room number, sir, to know about that. Well, like, it's just a simple question. What's your last name? Because... Howden Schauden, it's a German name. It's very difficult to spell. Oh, 
you are from the skate Why don't you use your maiden name? His, yep. his maiden name is Scheiss Could you hear the man? So? There is a man in my bathroom. He was here when I got in the room and he says he is the bathroom attendant. Do you need me yes. to wipe your ass for you or no? See, he keeps making very helpful suggestions for me. Which suggestions? But Do you want me leave. to put a finger in or no? Your door is locked, sir? Maybe like... Um, what was that, sir? What happened to the bathroom, sir? Well, like, I am in the bathroom now. I am on the toilet. Mm -hmm. And there is a man who was in the room when I got in the room. And he says he is the bathroom attendant. And he is trying to help me. And, and I want you to ask him to leave. Pull your ass cheeks apart so I can wipe you properly. Oh, why are you touching me this way? <laughs> okay, here. I don't know. Here, let me. You want two ply or one ply? Does this man work for you? He is trying to. He has bent me over the toilet and he is wiping me now. So, what's your room number, sir? I'm not sure. I think it was like 215 or like 2115. I don't remember because I am in the bathroom now. Come here. Let me kiss your butthole clean. So we didn't send any oh, why are you doing this? So, so wait. Like, does clean. this man work for you or no? No, sir. Like, we didn't send anyone to your room. He does not even work for you and I have tipped him and he has given me mints and he has cleaned my anus and you have let him do this to me in my room and he does not work for you? Sir? I'm... Sir, I so need, do you I hear the man? Room, I need your room number, sir. I thought I gave it to you. You didn't give the room number, sir. Well, I told you it was, I wasn't sure of exactly the numbers, but it's like 2115 or 215. I don't remember. I am dyslexic. No, sir. We don't have any room in the 215. You're, you're not dyslexic. You're a dick pig. Oh, do you hear so him? Happened, yeah, who he is, is he? shining my shoes as we speak, and he is wearing one of your uniforms. One of our uniforms? He says his name is Dwight. No, sir, he's not uh, our man. I work here. I'm a bathroom dweller. No, sir, he's not our man. See, he said he was bathroom dweller, which is like, I think, the American term for, like, bathroom attendant. No, sir, no, sir. We don't have any of that person. Oh no, well what I'm gonna do, he's in here and he's wiped, he's like, he's cleaned my shoes and he's dry pressed all my clothes and... Who opened the door, sir? I doubt, I no one opened it, he was already here when I got in. Don't know, sir, like, what's your room number, sir, may I know your last name? Oh, n well you did, you, wait. So, like, you did put this listing for this room out on Craigslist, did you not? Sir, I don't know about your room number. I don't know about your name. Can you please tell me your name, sir? So, what happened is, like, I bought this room off another service that puts rooms out Craigslist. And it was a very cheap room, and so I got it, and the man was already in here, so maybe the room is not really under my name. Maybe he is, like, subletting and pulling a prank on me. Sir, we don't know about that. Uh, sir, what's your room number, sir? We don't have any 215 room, sir. Sorry for that. Well, that's the room number he gave me, but I'm pretty sure, well, like, you... Do you put your rooms on Craigslist to be bought? Yes, sir. We, we, we put, sir. Okay, so I'm not sure what happened then because this man was already in my room. And he has wiped me, he has shaved me, he has shined my shoes, he has pressed my clothes, and now he's laying in my, be my bed very precariously. Sir, I need your full name, sir. Are you here for my the donkey cart party? 
Yes, there is so a I man with a here. donkey. I will, I, will, I will call you later. I have guest here, sir. Wait, I am the guest and there is something going on in my room that is pretty serious. Sir, may I know your name, sir? Yes, my name is Johan. Johan? Can you spell it for me? Yeah. This is Yat. Sir? And what is A O? Mm -hmm. That is the O for American, and there's Ha. And there is. We don't have any name on that plane, sir. Sorry for that. <laughs> You're not sure? Not sure. Yeah, I knew we lost him. Yeah. Good evening, reservation. Reservation, this is Byron. This is Byron. Hello? Hello? Reservations, this is Byron. Hello, can I help you? Hello, this is Byron. This is Byron. <clears throat> Is there a point to this? desk is it though is it really at the holiday Ex and oh, Express oh sorry they hang on guys they they answered sorry who is this this is Jared oh the, uh, at the front desk right yes sir okay um, I, I'm calling because my bearded dragon seems to have made it out of his cage hmm in the room and, yeah and I'm not sure when he got out of the cage usually about this time he's he, like he likes to nap and stuff and I, so I'm not sure how long he's been out but the door has definitely been opened once or twice what floor are you on uh, second floor number 15 okay Um, did you want me to, like, touch it? Because, um, I don't know if I want to go around catching a lizard. Yeah, 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 um, you can touch it if you want. I, I mean, I'm not going to force you. All right, can, can I be honest it. with you? It, it, listen, it's mine. I just put, I just put a green jumpsuit on my penis and I walk it. And, and, and I mean, if you want to touch it. You, you can touch it. I got I had a Kermit the Frog stuffed animal and I cut the stuffing out of it and I wear it. Huh. I might give you my number I call if you him. ask me a picture of that. Uh yeah, you want me I'll text it to you, yeah. I call him Puff. That's his name. I'm like, Hey, come touch Puff. Huh. It's got like a weird little word on it. Uh hang on, let me look. Uh uh no, I don't I don't see a war. You don't see a war. But my wife's my no, my wife's up here too. And she likes to dress she likes to dress like a dog. And and then I said, Come here, Pixel, and then she humps me. She humps my leg. Well, we have a no pet fee, so I will have to charge you two hundred and fifty dollars for the night. Alright. Charge her. Charge her, not me. I'm I'm not the filthy animal. Well, I'll have to charge everybody in the room. 
So we come like out, each so. of us got to pay two fifty or two fifty total for everyone. Like you, total. you, the dog, and the dragon. Because we're live streaming right now, and like I think if we can, we can get a GoFundMe going. I think we can raise the funds. The funds. Yeah, the 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 funds. You're gonna you're gonna Listen, find us. Man, the you funds for the me, You just told me you're a streamer. I don't know. It sounds like the bearded dragon's the one rolling in the money in the family. Uh, probably. I mean, we keep our we keep our pervert life and our regular life separate. Uh, is the bearded dragon an actual bearded dragon, or is it just like some type of? Well, it's my. Type, it's, I really it's hope it's not another it's human. My, it's, no, it's my penis acting as a bearded dragon. Ah, uh, okay, and it escaped. It escaped the room. Okay, yeah, it is. A yeah, problem. my penis. My pen. My penis has multiple personality disorder. Hmm. Okay. Um, I keep telling it it needs to take a vacation from its problems. Yeah, probably. Well, and then it wears a shirt that says "Don't hassle me, I'm local." How did you get the last four digits to spell out "boob"? Uh, well, that's my last. Uh, that's the last four. It's eight zero zero eight is the last four of my of my number. Ah, uh, okay. I guess then you have you have to be a troll then if you have if you have a number like no, that. No, no, no. No, no, you have to see, listen, you got to take baby steps to recover from being a troll. From being a troll? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, I got to get... I'm in a 12-step troll recovery program. Dr. Leo. I didn't hear, he, he's gone now. I fell asleep. How to. did you get your last four to say boo? Yeah, I forgot about that. Thank you for that. calling Comfort In. This is Lisa. How may I help you? Hi, I forgot about how my boobs sway back and forth. Here's my brother. Hi, my name is Bart, and we're repainting the room. And we want to know what colors you want it to be. <laughs> is this a prank call? No, we, we got a hell of a deal. We went behind Home Depot, and we looked in, we do dumpster diving. And we looked in there, and there was all kinds of, like, half-full paint pans. There's a mix. There's, like, not enough of one color to do the whole room one color. But we can do, like, each wall, like, half a color. Well, when I get a shoe shed, I'll hire you to come paint my shoe shed all kinds of colors. Hey, Steve. Hey, what? Steve. What? There's that old couch that we found in the dump. Yeah. It's got some bugs and stuff in it, but I think it's still good. Should I bring it up to the room? Yeah, bring it up, and we'll we'll beat the cu- we'll beat the curtains, wow. beat the curtains and the cushions. Oh, good. Okay, yeah. I mean, the bugs they kind of like act like they're on a trampoline when I do that. They're like flying all around. But whatever you say. Really? Hey, okay, you know what? What do you mean, then? Hello? Hey, watch it with Hello? that. Watch it with the couch. You're by the window. Shit. God damn it! God. God damn it! No, dude. Be careful. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're too close to the window. Ma'am, the bed bugs and roaches in the couch look hungry. Is is there breakfast here? Complimentary breakfast? Uh, are y'all are y'all a guest here? Yep. 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 Okay. Yep. What I mean, room? The number of occupants in the room has gone from two to like probably two thousand because if you count all the bugs that I just brought in. Um, okay. What room? Two fifteen. Two fifteen. Yeah. Two fifteen. Oh, oh! Where did you find these kitty cats? They were they were living in the couch. I lifted one of the cushions and there were a bunch of kittens, so I just that, brought them. That one looks feral and pregnant. Aw, can oh. you bring it down to the front desk? I'll take it. Sure. Come here, little kitty. She wants you to come to the front desk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this one doesn't have any manners. Yeah, that kitty's a little feisty. <laughs> Well, I gotta go to the bathroom, so I have to let y'all go. <laughs> Ma'am, do you have your oh, own you have your own kitty? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Do you have three pounds of raw beef? 
that because we have to feed nah. this cat, and it's getting it's getting very angry with us. We don't have. Don't worry. We got, we got we got our own raw beef. Sauce. We're on the case. <laughs> we just found some cows roaming around out in the parking lot. I think we're, we'll just feed them to the to the kitties. Do you condone that activity, ma'am? Thanks for calling Hilton to Branson. This is Heather. How can I help you? Hello. My name is Jean-Luc Picard of the USS Enterprise. How are you tonight? I'm well. How are you? Oh, very good. I've got some Klingons on my anus, but I took care of them. I'm sorry? Are you hard of hearing, ma'am? Excuse me? What are, what, what are those ruffians doing in the background there? They sound very unsophisticated. <laughs> I love these prank calls. Thank you for calling. You made my night. Have a good one. Oh, Perrier, you are sophisticated. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Baby, tell me, you? Yes, I'd like some. Yes, we would like some of the bubbly sent to our room, please. Yes, the bubbly. What? Some I don't champagne, understand. you peasant. Oh, we want the bubbly. You know, it tickles your nose when you drink it. The bubbly. I don't understand what you're talking about. See, you are not as refined and sophisticated as I am. I like the bubbly. Just tell her to bring the shit up to our room. Signal. Thank you for going to read Jensen and Switz. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hey, so I had a question regarding when we get there. Uh, mm -hmm. Would it be all right? Because uh, we only brought one, one set of clean clothes and we don't want to go to the laundromat. Sorry if we uh, if we exercise uh, naked in the room, or is that is that just too outlandish? Do what? Is all right if we you know if we're in the room is it okay if we uh, we you know we don't want to soil our clothing with with sweat when we exercise. So we're just wondering if it's all right if we if we uh, de you know um, disrobe and and exercise in the room. We're just gonna do some That's jumping fine. jacks and okay. And is it alright if we bring the camera crew in? No. Okay. I mean, we signed a release and everything. Alright, let me let me get them on the line here. Hey, can you just come over here? Thank you for yeah, calling Silver Spur, but you didn't beat Starla. Hello? Hello? Hello out Hello? there. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Oh, okay. Thank you for calling Silver Spur Vintage Inn and Suites. This is Darla. Hi, Darla. I'm sorry. My phone was messing up. I could barely hear you, but now I hear you just fine. Uh-huh. What can I do for you? Well, I had a question regarding the room, and it might sound outlandish, but just uh, it makes sense, at least to me. Uh, we only have a single pair, you know, a set of clothes that's clean for our trip, and um, we were just wondering if it would be all right if we exercised uh, in the nude in the room. Yes, sir, just want to make sure that wasn't like against any hotel policy. You got to wipe the machinery down after you're done. Hello. Hello. One, two, three, four, two. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah. I just had a few questions for you because we're doing, like, we're all, okay, so we got maybe one outfit between, you know, all of us, and we're trying to save on clothes, and I just had a couple questions for you. Okay. How can I help you, sir? Okay. So we're, we're like, basically like a whole crew of like I guess you could say muscle men we do like a show we like lift stuff and like rip bibles and shit like that but like oh basically, yeah, yeah we're not doing that um, no well I just mean like not in your rooms or anything it was just like we show how tough we are we rip like phone books and all that oh, okay. and um okay. Okay. 
but yeah, there's a bunch of us and we're, we need to work out and we just kind of, you know, is it, is it okay if we are all working out in the rooms is basically what I'm asking. In the rooms that, yeah, you can work out in the rooms as long as you don't get Good guess. form, dude. Good with form, me. Chad. That's looking good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. So dude, yeah, you can keep lifting that. Here. Yeah. Keep lifting it. I want to bench press you. Yeah. I bet you I can do it. <laughs> What's that, Dwight? Are you having? Get over here. Okay. No, I think I can bench. I think I can bench press you. Come here. Oh, yeah, lift me up, dude. Okay, I bet get, you can do it. I'm like 225. Ma'am, 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 wait, 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 we got a problem here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Listen, please. The steamy is heavy. Oh. Hang on, so put him, like, put him down, he's too heavy. He's on too record heavy. that you said it's okay that we're working out, correct? Did you guys just break oh, off? Wait, 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 are you breaking something? No, no, no. That's just that's just all smoke and mirrors, ma'am, because we got a camera crew in here with the sound crew, and we're just making I sounds for the show too, that we're filming. Too fucking heavy. And so, you like, it's what we do, like TV. I was saying earlier. Don't Dwight, don't drop it again. <laughs> so it's all, you know, it's kind of like whose line where the points don't matter and nothing's real except just the the real heavy lifting dudes who just shred phone books and Bibles and shred their, you know, show their biceps and look sexy for cowards. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I look like yeah. a hole. And so oh, we got a camera great. crew oh, and we just take a bunch yeah. of pictures oh, as you can oh. hear. Is there anything that oh, is there anything oh, that oh, like oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, I just need your confirmation that this was okay and I, I guess I got that. So I'm, I'll just tell your superiors that they, if they have a problem that you said it was okay. Yeah, I said it was okay, but I will be calling and checking with my manager. However, like I said, if you guys can please do not disturb the other guests, I would greatly appreciate it, okay? Uh, well, the manager sounds really manly, so if you could come up and shred some, you know, phone books and Bibles for us, we'd really appreciate that. And you could post our calendar and maybe get a cut back from that. Three, four. This is Byron. Uh, hi, uh, this is Luke calling you back from the Fairfield Inn and Suites Mansfield. Sorry I missed your call. Um, is there something I can help you with? Is there a point to this? Uh, excuse me? You, uh, I thought you called me. I just wanted to make sure that I uh, helped you out. How should I know? Um, I'm not sure. Sorry I bothered you then. I don't even know who you are. All right, uh, have a good night then. Oh, okay. White Herb Hotel, this is Suzy Q. How may I help you? Hi, Suzy. Um, I, I'm, I got a room here because our, our house is being uh, tented and uh, we, we got a bunch of bed bugs in there. And what? I fucking itchy. Where, where can I uh, wash the laundry, the dirty laundry that I brought? With? You got what? Now, what did you say? I, there's be, my house is being fumigated because we have bed bugs, so we're staying here and for a couple days. Like, I'm in my where, room. Where, where can I? Where can I? Where what did room I wash are you in? these clothes? I what room with? are you in? I'm in 215. Okay, you're not in my room. Okay, thank God. Um, what do you mean? What do you mean? 115, 115. Yeah, you're over at the YO, YO, or the, the oil. No, no, I'm you're here. No, here. no, no, I'm here. Yeah, I'm No, here. you're not. Where can I, where we can don't I have wash a these clothes I brought with me? We have no 115. Well, I don't know what room it is. Okay, well, where am I? Look up Johnson real quick. Last name. Johnson. Uh, I'm not going to look up Johnson because... You're not here. You're over at the other motel. Would you listen to I, me? No, I'm here. I'm I'm here. Where can I wash these okay. clothes? Okay, I don't know. It's the laundromat. It's so bad. Okay. Well, I don't have, have bed bugs, and uh, you're not in my motel. Thank you. So well, call you somebody do, else. You do. You 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 do. Hello. Who the hell are you? Wait up. Okay. Do you Wait. have? Do... Hey, cómo está usted? <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. ¿Cómo estás? You want to watch men ministrate? No, 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 no. Men don't ministrate. Oh, pues qué pendejo. Having sex. Ah, ¿qué estás haciendo? Ah. Ah. Pump the what? Crackhead. You're crackhead. Ah, I see. Okay. 
you need to stop smoking cigarettes, bitch. The Lord don't kind of work that way. Well, that sucks because you're smoking crack and you really need to get off the cigarettes. You sound like shit. Uh, no. Uh, nope. And we know this is recording, dumb fuck. You guys are retarded. Go get a life. Go get something better to do than this. Aren't you guys bored with your life? God, it sucks to be you. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? How can I help you? Yes, I can. Oh, thank God. Okay, we have a situation brewing here up in the hallway. Uh, there's a guy, he was he was doing somersaults, he was dancing, but he was uh, completely in the nude. And now he's oh. now he's got a he's got like a fern plant or something. I don't know if he brought it in or if it's here in the room or something. You know, he's, he's hiding his his nakedness behind the ferns, and he says it's a big mistake. It's a big mistake. I, I didn't do this on purpose. He said he got locked out of his room, but he's been he's been doing like you know circus tricks and stuff up here. What uh, floor? Uh, fourth floor. Uh, right by like the ice maker. And he, okay. he, he's I, hiding in there now, and he, he's got his, his business stuck inside. Um, okay, I'll send security up there. Okay, but I'm scared. What do I do? Do I... Cause um, I'm not staying here. Ahead. I'm just... I was visiting a friend, and now, like, I, I kind of want to go back to my friend's room, because I'm kind of scared of this guy, because he's... But he's frozen, he's frozen his tallywhacker to the, to the machine, I think. Because he can't move. He keeps saying, oh, ow, ow, it burns, it burns, it hurts. Okay, where are you? Well, I'm outside the room now. And you can can't go him. back in? Well, no, because they're going to sleep. I don't want to bother them. Send security really. to the fourth floor. By the ice machine. Can I slap him? Would that be alright? Because maybe... No, please don't. <laughs> please don't all do right. that. So I guess some, then, maybe I can get some hot water and maybe just pour it on him and maybe help him out, like, you know. No, uh, try. He keeps asking me if my clams have been appropriately cleaned. Give me one moment, means. okay? Give me oh, one moment. Okay, all right. It is frozen, huh? Do you want me to, like... I'll get some warm water, dude, but you gotta, like, tell me, like, why, why this happened, like, what happened? Well, it is, it is fun and was danced to hide my naked and then was frozen on the ice machine, oh! Uh, it must hurt, have you tried pulling on it? I pull, I pull, oh, oh, but then, but then rip, it rip and shred. Oh no, you don't want to rip that. You only get one of those. Okay, well, I, I have I have security I have security going yeah, up I to help you guys. Here, he's here and he's he's regained consciousness because he was out for a little while there. That's why I called. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Um, go he ahead if you're not. His name was Johan, and he 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 lives on the fourth floor here. Here, let me give you the phone. Here, talk to them. Oh. Oh, hello. 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 Are you uh, okay? You not really. Do you understand the situation so far? I I believe so. Can you explain to me what what happened? Okay, so I was locked out of my room from outside, was in bathing suit for getting the sun earlier and then had not really many things to wear and could not get back into my room, did not know what to do, and so I, I, I got, even though I was in my bathing suit, the crazy thing was I kept getting so hot, I guess I was frustrated, but what happened was I had to get cool by the, by the ice machine, and what happened was I guess that my, my, my penis, my schwitzer was stuck to the ice on the machine, and now I am stuck. Another man pull on me, and it hurt. Okay. Um, so I have security going up there um, to the fourth floor ice machine. Um, are you needing any medical assistance? 
I'm not sure. What I really probably need is just like some hot water or like a friendly stranger to come by and like go <gasps> onto and to make it melt so that I can pull away. Okay, well, um, let security so go up I, there. I am flagging down to people get you. to come. When they pass, I will say, you come here and you help me, please. And I would no, say security go ahead. said so. No, no, no. Don't tell them that. It is all very frozen and hard and hurt and turgid. And so what happened is I not know what I'm going to do if I can't get out of this. this and I'm not going to wait for people to come up like four floors. I need, a, I need a big strong man like to come and rip me off this shit before, before everybody going to see me naked. Okay, well, I have, a, I have a security guard going up there now. He's on his way. Does he got, like, a hairdryer or, like, a heat gun or something to, like, make warm on my penis to help me? Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll bring whatever they have. He know how to, like, make a fire or, like, turn the machine off. Right. We can't, like, wait for this situation to fall out. That's not going to be good on my penis. No, I totally understand. Yeah, no, uh, we don't want you to injure yourself anymore. Um, so they're the going to go up there and assess the situation, and then they'll, they'll bring whatever they need to bring. There's two gentlemen well, I've got, going Actually, I don't, see, I don't see the gentlemen yet, but there's a few actually nice strangers that have come up to help me, and they're all here kind of like, a, like I can hear them talking about it and telling me like, they're going to help me and stuff. So when he, maybe like the security guard will just be back up by then. Hey, um, mister, yeah, can so I give the keys? Yes, you can. Yeah, if you make warm on it, if I liked it, will make oh. it like a little bit warm and I can pull it off if you lick on. I'll breathe on it really hard. Yeah. <laughs> My friend Dwight here is an expert. Yes. Bite. Please breathe on it. Oh, that's this man a little better. Help. Yeah, you must keep doing these things. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to kiss it. Oh, well, your mouth is so very warm. It is working quickly, yeah. Oh, my goodness. This is very sweet. What did you have on your ice machine? Mm. I had to put it recently in a fan or something. It was it's mm. very organic. Got it. Yeah. Hey, yeah, hold. Mm. Yeah. Forty three seconds in. Hello, yeah. Yeah, so uh, I I I've been touring and this is the two hundredth motel that I'm 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 gonna be in, but you know, there's a lot of weird things going on. Like there's there's women it's a stellar alignment. and they're dancing. And they're, they're exercising naked. Oh, where are you again, and they, sir? And they're shoving deodorant sprays up their twats. Mm hmm Yeah. Can you explain this phenomenon to me? Because I don't understand. Nice joke, Barry. Hang up. Oh, I don't want to hang up, though. I'm scared. Well, Barry, you can uh, waste someone else's time, not mine. Good night. Okay, good night. <laughs> Bye. Turbo. Turbo has... What the fuck is that? Well, it's a fucking kangaroo penis. Oh, my God. Why? Or tail out of a pouch, either way. It's like it could be a baby out of a pouch, but it that looks That thing bad. looks like it fucks backwards. Thanks, Colin Nathan. This is Joel. How can I help you? It fucks back. Sorry, could you repeat that? Uh, I, I, I could, but it's not pertinent to the uh, the situation. Listen, I'm in my room. Okay. And because we're, we're, we're having my house tented and fumigated. Uh, okay. Because we had bugs and stuff. And I'm just wondering, because I brought a bunch of dirty laundry with me, where can I wash this? So we have a laundry room uh, in the middle of the hallway. Are you on the first floor or the second floor? Second floor. Does, does the dryers get hot enough to kill bed bugs? Um, I'm pretty sure they get very hot. 
I don't know if it's enough to okay. kill the bed bugs. Yeah. Okay, because I know they can swim, so I can't drown them in the washer. But I, right. I figured if the if the dryer gets hot enough, they'll get caught in the lint trap, and like maybe their little their little carcasses will make it over there. Because I'm itching. I'm itching so hard right now. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. I got yeah. the I got the I got the itis the bug itis. Oh, okay. Did you like get any bug spray or something or? No, no. They're they're like the cockroaches. They're okay. like they're like indes indestructible without a nuclear blast. You okay, know, when a nuclear yeah. blast goes off, it lets off an EMP and electric electric electronical, but like the pulse thing, and right, then right, they yeah. they short circuit. Yeah, but I don't have one. I don't have a nuclear device to set off. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we do have laundry room uh, on the first floor. In the middle of the hallway. I had plutonium one there. time, but that was because Doc Brown ripped off some terrorists. Oh yeah. Yeah. He gave them yeah. a case full of pinball parts. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so like I said, there's a so, laundry room in the first floor, so you can try that or else yeah. Uh, okay. But Okay, yes, but there's sir. there's bed bugs on the second floor, just so you know. Okay, and what's your room again? Two fifteen? Two fifteen, okay. Okay, thank you for letting us know. Oh, okay, I got, yeah. you have no problems with that. That's that's fine. I'll yeah, I'll check with the manager, but I'll let you know. Oh man, they're swarming. Oh, these bed bugs are swarming. And you said two fifteen, right? All these bugs. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. The bed bugs right. are swarming in here. They're angry. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm not getting them. I'm not giving them enough skin flakes to eat. It's a, it's a crazy situation. It's okay, Betsy. It's okay. We're going to wash these clothes. Sorry, that's my wife. Okay, yes, sir. She's she's a big girl. All right, yeah. You can call me if you need anything, all right? Thank uh, you. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, Thank you. Okay. okay. Bye. 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 Phil can play. I will work with you. Hello? Hello? It's time to get up. It's time to wake up, you old wanker. Wake up, wake up, wake up. The Queen Mother has called. She ain't bubble news. She wants you to wake up. Get out of bed and wake up. And pull ding, down ding, your, ding. Your, your, your trousers. I'll go outside. Go up your knickers. What's going on here? Yeah. Wake up, this wake up, wake King up. Chucky. This Who is King them? Chucky. Who has yes. my knickers? King Chucky here. Yeah. Hello? 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 Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Okay, do you have... Do Hello? <laughs> you guys are psycho. Weirdo. You're crazy. You, know have to do? you want to watch me and ministrate. You're ministrating? That sucks. Men don't ministrate. Well, stop masturbating. Having sex. Having sex. That's not good. Ah. No, you stop smoking cigarettes. Pump the what? Stop smoking cigarettes, crack scene. Uh, Yo, oh, there good. we go. All right. Yeah. I was on mutation. I was answering you. Yeah. Okay, man. What a fantastic shoe man the whole family got a big bite everybody got to bite all the horses out there got a little bit of something yes yeah, so i'm talking about it all right happy horses right here tonight our madhouse militia family is on a journey together together we can overcome all adversity pain and fear and anger in our world learning that laughing at our problems 
melts away the grief and all our troubles. That's right. As we find out that the strength, our strength is the power of laughter, kindness, and joy. Healing our collective souls with the magical power of laughter. Aww. Right here on the Madhouse Militia every week right here in your earballs at 10 p.m. Friday nights. That's right. Madhouse Militia is saving the world one laugh at a time. We're dropping the dimes. And all we ask is that you give us the time and bring your friends. Bring, yeah, bring your enemies because you know what? They're all welcome right here in the Madhouse where all the kids play well together and we learn to smile at all our troubles. Thank you so much for all your inspiration, my dear brother, Edermanito, the Generalissimo in heaven with the golden headphones still leading us forward to that joyful state of being. And I couldn't do it without my brother Axe. My brother Axe helped me carry this gigantic torch, all of us bear, carrying it forward to all the new generations and all the new people out there learning how we laugh together. Thank you so much, Axel. This is a heavy load, man. God bless you, brother. You're welcome. And uh, let me unmute Nunu so you can speak to us. Okay, Nunu. We're ready to hear you. Take your penis Take your, out of uh, your mouth. Now, now. Be, be kind. We're re ready to hear your vocal cords clap. No? Oh, I heard him. Now, now. Oh, see, he muted himself. Damn it. Here he is. Here he is. I hear him. 